Um, the biggest difference that I've discovered is that um, in the early hours of the morning when I get up, normally I would be not in, I wouldn't be able to walk easily to the bathroom. Um, in fact, in many cases at home I'd have to crawl from the bed to the bathroom. Um, but I've noticed over the last um, three or four days I've been able to walk quite easily from the bath from the bed to the bathroom with large steps. It's no problem. You mean after the after the IV treatment? Yes. Okay. yes I, I have had no injection yet. Okay. So it's just been the uh, the the. Um, stem cell proliferation treatment, okay. which I've had for nearly a week now. I would be very, very unsteady, very unsure of myself, mm. and this leg would get it, it would lock out, and then this one would stand here and wouldn't, wouldn't move. And if I managed to get going, it would be sort of very, and sometimes at home, mm. I normally get out of bed and actually get onto the floor like this. Mm. Yeah, well, we've got a carpet on the floor, so the least of this here. And then I pull myself along to the end of the bed, and then get up, straight to the door, and then get into the bathroom that way. But I find it easier to get onto the floor and almost crawl than, than walk, because it, my medication at that time has worn off. So right. can you show us uh, what's the problem of your channel body? Well, I mean, that would be, I'd sort of get there, and I'd, I'd be straining and forward, trying to, Get the legs to, to turn, and they, they would, it's just sticking. Just sticking? Sticking, whichever, yeah. which, whichever way I like to go. Okay. It would stick, always be a problem. Okay. If, again, if my medication is off, yeah. um, I find difficulty in writing, um, doing most things with my hands, really, that, that require dexterity. And my hands will shake if I try to unpeel a, a wrapper or something like that. I, I, I would have, or even getting out my medication, I would have, I have to ask my wife to open the, the tube because okay. my fingers are all... After you take the medication, there's no problem to do it. After I take, you know, once my Parkinson's medications are, are working, then, <sighs> frankly, I can do most things. Okay. But um, the, the problem is that the medication only lasts for a certain time and those times are shrinking. Um, and so that's why I'm here. Okay, so how many times of your medication do you take every day? I, I split my medication into four times. doses. Um, okay. So first thing in the morning, maybe 7, 7, 7.30, and then sort of the three and a half hour intervals up to that. When I first started the medication, it would usually last for about five hours, but it's come down to sort of four, almost three and a half um, before I came out to, to China. Yeah. Um, and now it lasts longer. It's uh, it's about the same actually at the moment, but I can it, it, I can see it gradually uh, extending. I, I really can because um, the whole system is, is seems to respond quite well. Okay. So, what do you feel? Any difference or do you feel any difference? Uh, do I feel any difference? Yeah, the, I mean the feeling. What do you At the moment, my legs are a bit shaky. Oh, okay. Okay. stem cells seems to be coming through. Um, I am able to get up in the morning and walk to the bathroom quite normally. In fact, last night was the first night in years that I can remember that I've been able to have a good night's sleep without being interrupted by perpetual bathroom visits, maybe three times a night, which obviously disturbs your sleep pattern. So last night I slept between 12.30 and 7 in the morning without getting up once. Um, when I got up, I managed to stand out of bed and my legs were not trembling. I managed to walk to the bathroom and walk back again. It was a bit mechanical at the beginning because I was a bit stiff, but once I returned from the bathroom, I was walking very, very slowly. Um, and 
I discovered a little ruse the other night to make myself walk more easily, and that was to use the consciously think of putting my heel on the ground first, which has the effect of straightening the leg. And it's a little trick that if I, when I get stuck, I can always turn to that. But what is the change in my off periods? Well, the off period, this, the easiest way to demonstrate that is what happened this morning. This morning, I didn't struggle to get out of bed. I stood up, my legs weren't shaking, and I managed to walk a little stiffly, but I managed to walk to, to the bathroom and back. Before, with my off time, I would not be able to do that. You know, one of the biggest, biggest problems with Parkinson's patients is often when they get into a confined space and they, they freeze up. But as you see, I can turn and walk. Now, my medication is on at the moment, but even when it's, even when it's not on, like this morning, I would have been able to manage this. No problem. In fact, I'll take my own video to prove it. I can turn around. Right this way. And I can make large steps. This is the problem with most Parkinson's patients. They can't make large steps. I can make big steps, if necessary. Bigger than normal, of course. Um, do this. So now your eyes are closed. Now my eyes are Well, I hope you don't see my eyes are I was a little mechanical. I probably walked a little bit like this this morning. Mm. <laughs> a little bit mechanical to the bathroom. But when I returned, I was loosened up a little bit, and I walked much more normal. Mm -hmm. So in general, you feel good? I feel good. I feel great. You feel great. I okay. do. <laughs>